Welcome back to Unicorn Desk Designs. My name is Sammy and if you're new here, hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how I take some outdated home decor and flip it for profit. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the problem, you guys, and we need to get through it. Now that I'm not pregnant, I'm feeling good. These, I feel like thrift lifts are a little bit more work um, because you have to like clean them, you have to sand them, you have to, there, there's a lot of prep that goes into them. So needless to say, I need to get through this stuff. So we have a lot <laughs> to choose from. Um, I know that I want to flip this because it's very like fall vibes, the yellow, maybe put like a transfer on there or something. Um, I also, that wasn't really a flip, but I need to take that out and actually use that for decor. And I'm thinking about where was it? This right here, like taking all of the florals off and converting that to maybe like a fall floral thing in the jigger. But we have a lot of options here. So I'm gonna rummage through this and then I'll show you where uh, our, what I'm going to do. And also um, I'll tell you like where I got it from, how much, because we need to make room because you guys, we have a baby and she's going to need to be in a playpen at some point. So like, I want to make sure that like all of this is cleaned up. So let's get started. All right. So I picked this up across the street at the, at my neighbor's garage sale. It was $2. It looked like she had hand painted it, but then I realized it was definitely spray paint as I looked on the bottom. But either way, I was loving this chippy messy look i saw the yellow and thought fall so i'm gonna take this outside and i'm gonna thoroughly clean it it had like dog hair everywhere once i'm done with that i'm gonna take out my iod transfers and these are absolutely stunning you guys i think it was in this book you get 38 transfers you divide that by the cost which is 21 bucks these are 55 cents each. So although you may think like, yes, they are pricier. If you break the price down, it's really not that expensive. So keep that in mind as I'm showing you these transfers. Um, so I pick out the transfer that I want. We're going to take the carrier sheet off and the transfers have a little bit of tack to them. So you could see as I push it down in the middle, it like sticks to my surface and then I'm just going to cut around my little knob so that I could get this to lay flat and then I'm going to move my transfer because I decided I wanted the placement a little bit differently. Now I'm going to take, you can take um, this little plastic thing which comes with it or you can take like a library card, doesn't matter. And what you're going to do is you're rubbing down on the carrier sheet. And I will say this, if you freshly paint something, you need to clear it with like a poly acrylic and then put your transfer on top. If you put this directly onto paint, then you're going to peel your paint up with your transfer. Um, I thought, okay, this is painted, it's cleared, but I was having a little trouble getting the transfer on there. But then I started, look at how I'm like pulling up the transfer and then rubbing on it this worked like a charm is that even a saying I don't know I don't know but it worked so try that out next time and I'm just going to continue this all the way down and you guys now I'm going to burnish it this is so pretty and burnishing is basically I'm rubbing the transfer with that carrier sheet to make sure that it is adhered to my surface and on there really well. Now I'll take water-based, sorry, that was Hank, polyacrylic, and I'm gonna seal this image in to, I'm calling this a book rack, cause I would put books in here, not magazines. So I'm going to um, clear that so our transfer does not go anywhere. I will let that dry, and then I am going to go ahead and flip this around. Now, there wasn't two of the same images, which was totally okay. I found this one, and the roses and everything matched the other image so well that this is the one I decided on. So this book comes with like 
large transfers, medium transfers, and small transfers. So it's a nice collection of them. And again, I am just rubbing these down. These have so much detail and it really is an easy way of taking any kind of home decor item and making it new and fresh. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting this in my booth. I just don't have anywhere to put it in my home and it doesn't fit with like my current style, but I will be displaying this with some books and some roses and you guys, this cost me $2 plus if we calculated the transfers at 55 cents each, it would be like $3.50 I'll say and I will put this in my booth for $40 and um, I think once if you have a booth or if you are trying to sell you just have to gauge your audience and what they are willing to spend what you think your time is valued at and then play around with pricing because you know some booths you have to go lower in price some booths things will sell for a higher price so um, just take mine with a grain of salt and price them whatever you think that your audience is going to buy that i guess you can say look at the detail in that you guys Ooh, i love this i love this all right this next piece this has been sitting in my basement for definitely over a year it looked like it was handmade because on the bottom it is welded it's kind of lopsided but i think that's why i liked it it was quirky it had texture it was $4.99. So I'm going to grab my DIY paint and I am going to grab Sailor. Now, Brie and I went thrifting together a couple weeks back. I will put her um, video down in my description box for you. And we traded. So I had a bunch of thrifting stuff that I needed to offload. And so she came, picked some things out she wanted, and we basically traded. So I got some new paints and she got a bunch of thrifted items that she could sell or upcycle. So it was pretty cool. So I am just taking um, a chippy brush. I'm applying this Sailor. Now, um, again, DIY paint is clay based. So this is going to dry down like this, super matte. Now I am trying clear DIY wax. You guys know I usually do white wax, but I wanted to try something different. Now, as I was applying, I was applying with a fluffy like chalk brush and I started noticing a little bit of streaking and I had let this set for like two days after painting it. And I don't know, I was going around and it, it made it, look like the streakiness is what I'm talking about. Like, you know, when you do one coat of paint and then it looks streaky and then it looks like I was lazy and didn't want to do a second coat of paint. That's what it looked like to me. And I'll show you this image. And, um, Brie had said that that's pretty normal for darker paints like this. Uh, but I just, I couldn't do it. So I grabbed my DIY white wax. You guys have seen me use this several times. I've probably had this small container for a year now and I'm not even halfway through it. So I highly, highly suggest checking it out on upcyclebrie.com. So I'm taking my chip brush. I just leave my brushes, the wax brushes in a little sandwich baggie and just pull it out every time I use it. So I am just applying this to the top of the clear wax and it actually helps move the white wax a little easier. Now, if you find that you put too much white wax on your brush and then there's like a big old white spot on there, just keep brushing over it and it kind of fans it out, makes it look, I describe it as fluffy. So I go around and you guys, anything that I put white wax on sells so fast in my booth no joke. So I always try to find at the thrift stores, um, like detailed textured items to paint and wax because they go so fast. So get you some, some wax. Okay. So this is how it looked. Like I said, do you see how it's kind of lopsided? I think it's kind of quirky. I absolutely love it. This was $4.99. I'll put it in my booth for 
20 to $25 and then I'll display it with uh, the pumpkins and everything on it and I think it'll be really cute. So let me know what you think. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this flip video so far. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I need to get through some of this stuff, especially because we are looking for a new house and I really don't want to have to move my entire thrifting collection. So I am going to be working more on this stuff during my videos as well as still doing Dollar Tree, but of course. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and y'all know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the channel, if you are digging the DIYs, then make sure you like and subscribe and check the links down in the description box because I do have a TikTok and Instagram. We have a Facebook group as well where we share our crafting. And then I do have a Facebook business page that I'm hoping to start doing lives on um, soon, but you know. I do have a new baby, so that's probably, <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Make sure to leave me a comment down in the description box if you love thrifting or if it's not your jam, leave that in the comments too. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get back into this video. Now this next DIY, <laughs> I had tried upcycling these candlesticks, but they ended up looking like Dalmatians. That's probably why they didn't sell on my booth. So I'm going to take them. I'm going to use these enamel plates as well that are to the left. I am taking tarnished pearl. I like this color because it dries down to be kind of white with an undertone of like a light gray. So I didn't want stark white because the enamel plates are a bit aged and I was trying to cover up my Dalmatian spots on these candlesticks. So I do two coats on each of these candlesticks and hold on, I'm like, what is coming next? Okay, and then I just wanted to show you the difference of the tarnished pearl and on the right side was the stark white. So these actually came from my dad's backyard um, and they, I washed them down, they were very aged, I loved the look. I am just going to make an X on the back of this plate to figure out my center point of the circle. Now my candlesticks, right? See how the bottom that's looking up at us, that is where you would actually put the candle. So I flipped it so that the flat surface, which would technically be the bottom, is going to be sitting on our plate. <laughs> you guys picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> okay. So I just marked that off with some, uh, like a chalk pen. So I know where to put this candlestick back when I adhere it. So I'm using type on wood glue, wood glue. This can be used on any surface. It does not have to just be wood glue, hot glue for that immediate hold. I attach it and that's it. You guys, that is absolutely it. And these turned out really cute. I don't now. I don't know if the bottom is like too stark for the enamel plates but i couldn't really think of another color to use but i really love them i love the displays i think these will sell i hope quickly the blue's a little different so i don't know but these will be for 20 dollars each at my booth all right now this one i recently found at savers and it was 3.99 i cleaned it with one of like the dollar tree um what do you call it the the like Mr. Clean Eraser thingy-majiggers, but not name brand. Anyways, I cleaned it up and it was the perfect like creamy chiffon color. So I decided to actually leave it as is. I'm taking more of those IOD transfers. You guys, I tried so hard to decoupage. Like I kept looking and looking, but I could not find anything. And I kept going back to these beautiful transfers. So right here... I'm going to lay my transfer on and I'm going to take some uh, painter's tape and I am going to tape this transfer down. Now I did it on both sides initially, but what I do is I'm going to lay it on its side. Sorry, you couldn't see that and see how I'm lifting. And this one actually went on. I didn't even have to rub down. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This fit perfectly on this coffee pot, you guys. So beautiful. And look, I hardly had to do anything. Now I'm going to take that carrier sheet. And again, I'm going to burnish that image on there. So I, all I'm doing is rubbing in circular motions. You could also do this with like a uh, microfiber cloth as well. And all it's doing is pushing that transfer into 
your base. I'm going to say a base. Now, once that's done, I do take it out and I clear it with matte clear spray paint by Rust-Oleum. Um, you guys, these florals, if I remember, I'll put this skew down in the description box. These are at Walmart on clearance for a dollar, one dollar. I grabbed as many as I could find. They are stunning. So I cut those down, put those in there. Look at, oh my gosh, look at how, I mean, those, the, the greenery bundle looks upscale to begin with. This coffee pot looks absolutely stunning. The paint once cleaned. Oh, oh my gosh. I love this. So originally $3.99 for, so I put like $6 into it and that will be in my booth for $20 to $25. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you to go thrifting. Definitely check out the links down in the description box. Bye and you guys. Today I want to show you how I'm going, no. Today I want to show you how. I felt like I was like going cross-eyed there for a second. Wow. You know, it is 8.19 on Monday morning. John has the baby. And I actually need to get to work. But already John said. I started folding socks and putting socks together. And he's like, what are you doing? I said everything I'm not supposed to be doing. He goes, and this is why you don't get work done, huh? And I was like, well, it has to get done. So I do it in pockets, you know? Like I'll go flip the laundry. I'll go put away the dishes. And then it's like work actually ends up being the last thing I do. So there, yeah. I'll clean up. All right, we need to film another.